Welcome to the Prep Athletics Podcast. This is Corey Heights. Some battles. I'm, I'm, I'm not sure if they got us. If they did, maybe, maybe. So you will get better as a player during that year. So it was kind of exciting. Like, oh, yeah, somebody wants me. Now, when you got to Purdue your freshman year, you were co-freshman of the year in the Big Ten. Would that have happened without prep school? I doubt it. I mean, um, like I say, the amount of work that we did at prep school, there was no papers. There was no internet back then. You know, we didn't have a local much covering us. So Coach Good just got to coach, and you know, as hard as he wanted. You know, I grew up with the Bobby Knight era, call it that, you know, discipline. And, you know, that type of coaching didn't bother me. That's what I was kind of used to, you know, growing up in Indiana. So, I mean, he'd go many times. He's like, I'll take these two guys from Indiana over all you talented bleep, bleep, bleeps and wherever, because they know how to play the game of basketball. So that made it a little bit easier, at least that my basketball IQ was really good from where I came from. And that really helped me get through prep school. But the competition level, I mean, I want to play against maybe one division, division one player in my whole senior in high school. I mean, I would have been triple double dunking on people blocking you know I'm going to get six one guys instead of six nine athletic guys or six ten guys um, guys that are bigger guys that were stronger so I mean the competition level I had was insane that year up at prep school and that that just kind of set it off like man Purdue seemed a little easier you know than being at prep school like competition I'd already played against this many got good guys before so you know it just set it up for a lot easier transition in terms of the competition level.